Hey, it's Nina Contento, of course. South Jersey Speed has the Mid-Atlantic .90's final points race of the season at Atco Dragway. And the PCA Delaware region is hitting the track at NJMP. All this and more coming up on South Jersey Speed. At SNJ Today, we don't just like South Jersey, we love it. We go out every day to find the stories that matter to you and your community and share them on our nightly newscast at 7 and 11 p.m. on Channel 4. Did you know that you can get all the great South Jersey stories in your news feed? Like us on Facebook to see all the news, sports, and weather that affects you. You like South Jersey, we love South Jersey. Like us today on Facebook to keep informed with South Jersey's news. SNJ Today, we are for South Jersey. We're here at Atco Dragway for the Mid-Atlantic .90's final points race of the 2017 season. We have Super Gas, Super Street, and Super Comp, and there will be three champions awarded trophies and checks today. All right, guys, I'm here with Rob Keister, and he is the president of the Mid-Atlantic .90's Association. What are you most excited for uh, about the events going on today? Uh, pretty much uh, we crown our 2017 champions uh, in our three classes, Super Comp, Super Gas, and Super Street. Uh, really looking forward to ex uh, towards the end of the season for us. Uh, we run 10 races a year. Um, we travel all over the place from Pennsylvania to Maryland, and we finish up here at ACCO, New Jersey. And really looking forward to uh, crowning some new champions. Um, racing is a little bit different when it comes to uh, this specifically. You have a throttle stop, you have your delay box, you have all these electronics. Explain to me what that is. Uh, a lot of fun to try to figure stuff out, but uh, the throttle stop is um, putting time to shut the throttle down for a certain amount of time, up to a thousandth of a second, to try to run these numbers, which our class is 1090. So instead of um, in a bracket race, everyone just runs what they run and then they dial the number that their car is running. We all have to go 890, 990, and 1090, depending on your class. I run super comp, so I have to go 890. And um, so we have timers in our cars that adjust to, like, it's called a throttle stop. Mm -hmm. So instead of, my car can go 730, so I have to slow it down about two seconds to go 890. But it just makes it competitive for everyone, even if you can't, you know, even if you're an 890 car, mm -hmm. you can still win. So it opens doors for all levels. Throttle stop racing is complex um, as it is. A lot of people who are in the stands uh, don't understand it because the fact is that anybody who comes to a drag race, uh, you know, they pretty much look at it as you're supposed to go from A to B. <laughs> you're supposed to go to, from A to B and as fast as you know possible. Uh, with throttle stop racing, you have cars that are capable of going seven seconds, eight seconds, and a quarter mile, but because we're on a in set index, 890, 10, uh, 990, and 1090 these cars are set on a throttle stop. Now you can have an air throttle stop or an electric throttle stop, and one of these cars, you know, can capable of going to 180, 190 miles an hour, but they're set on an index. So the closest for, you know, what we do is try to get as close as you can to an 890, 990, or 1090 index. But, you know, in the meantime, it was, it makes it look like the car stalled out when yeah. it leaves the starting line. Um, but it's actually all a complex, um, formula, formula, okay. yes, computer system. Uh, everything's based off of the uh, way the temperature is, the barometer, the wind speed, uh, and, and a couple other factors to actually tell you what to put into the throttle stop that make you go on a 990 rather than going 890 or uh, se you know seven seconds all flat out. Right. So by going 990 or 890, you go right on the index, and hopefully you are standing at the end of the day winning. The car changes as the weather changes. If it's hot and humid, the car runs slow. So you gotta put less timer uh, in, the, in the throttle stop. When it's cold, good day like today, uh, you need more time because the car runs faster. And it's all a prediction. It's all weather, taking the weather, predicting. And uh, it's, it's a lot of work, it's hard. I'm sure. I could not do this alone. Pretty much anybody can run. Um, there's, we base our anything off of the IHRA and NHRA uh, rules. 
Uh, so, you know, the rule book's pretty much the same as they run here at an NHRA division race or a NHRA national event. And it's pretty much just, uh, just like to have fun. It's a family aspect. Everybody loves each other. Uh, we have barbecues every Saturday night and the camaraderie. And, you know, a lot of things with the NHRA races, you have the super gas or super, ga uh, super comp or super street guys who kind of are all by themselves. They know people that are in their own class. This actually brings all three together mm -hmm. so they actually can meet new people and root them on in, in their classes when they're running by themselves. It's a blast. Good people. It's not only all the racing, it's the people too. It really is. The, the racers love it. Um, this is an additional thing for them. Uh, a lot of these guys run on the NHRA and IHRA uh, tours. Um, so they don't get to run as much as they normally do. Uh, they only get to run maybe probably nine to ten weekends out of the year compared to like a race here at ACCA where you run every Saturday night. So for them, an additional five weeks for them to race um, is what they love. And they love the payouts, they love the camaraderie, they love the family aspect that we have. We're here with the association. My best friend Rob runs the series, so we love to support him and it's just a fun time. I mean, instead of going to a national event where you're there for five days and the pressure's really tight, you know, we race on Saturday here and then we have a barbecue and we go to the bar and we have a good time and then if you lose on Saturday, you can race on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good time. Since Rob took it over, he's been wonderful. He's been <laughs> like, he handles all three classes, Super Street, Super Gas, Super Comp, which is 1090, 990, 890. Runs the whole association, does it for the love of the sport and uh, without him, we wouldn't have this. It, it's, uh, we, we can't thank him enough. I can't do it without the racers. I can't do it without my sponsors. Um, it's, it's without them guys, um, you know, I put the races together, I put the dates to, to, together for them every year. If it's not for them showing up and supporting the actual race, there's no way in the world that I can do it. So I thank every single one of them uh, deeply within my heart to come out and support the series. Martin Gandjoin and George Smith now hold the championship titles. Amanda in Super Comp, Martin in Super Street, and George in Super Gas. How does it feel to be winning? It feels awesome. Um, I've just been working really hard this year, and last year we had a really tough year because my dad crashed, and we almost lost everything in a trailer crash, so we're just happy to be moving forward at this pace. What did it take to get to this spot? Um, it took four finals and two <laughs> wins, so it wasn't an easy path. Um, I think I had 900, or no, 420 points to end the season, and I know that's like 10 points more than the person who won last year, so it was definitely a difficult season. Oh man, awesome. It was good to get it done. A little surprising, I was uh, sitting pretty far back coming into the weekend. Really? Won a race, and got back in the picture, and uh, I hung out. It feels awesome. It's like, uh, uh, all my friends are here. We all get along. Everyone just races to, uh, for fun. We all want to win, but at the end of the day, we're all still friends. Never, you know, tell yourself that you can't do it because if you like work really hard and if you, you know, put the time in and you learn everything that there is to learn, like it's possible for anyone to win. Whether they've been doing it for 40 years or just starting out, like if you're willing to put the time in, you can win. Amanda even made history for the Mid-Atlantic.90 Association. She is now the first female driver to win a championship with the series, and she and her father are the first father-daughter duo to have won championships. My dad's been racing for 40 years. I think he started out here in the bracket racing program. He, um, he's won a world championship. He's done pretty much everything he could do, and I'm really happy that I've been able to you know, learn as much as I could from him and just carry the torch. Atlantic.90 Association hold their first ever race event. Find out the answer after the break.
From the boardwalk to our farmland, Atlantic County has a lot to offer. So we need a diverse economy that benefits everyone. And leadership that will make it happen. I'm John Armato. And I'm Vince Mazio. As your assemblyman, we're ready to cut red tape and make it easier on small businesses. And attract new businesses and jobs. And we'll work to curb the skyrocketing property taxes that affect us all. I'm Vince Mazio. And I'm John Armato, and that's our plan. The Christie Playbook failed New Jersey. Now Kim Guadano wants another try. Billions less in state funds for public schools driving up property taxes, but billions more in tax breaks for giant corporations, always choosing the wrong side. I'm Phil Murphy. I've learned how to grow and create jobs, and I don't owe the insiders anything. We can build a stronger and fairer economy that works for every New Jersey family. We can't afford four more years of the same old playbook. New Jersey is facing an epidemic fueled by opioid painkillers. We want you to know that recovery from addiction is possible, but you need to know the signs. They can be hard to spot. Social withdrawal, financial problems, irritability, if you see these signs occurring together or suddenly, you may have cause for concern. The signs you spot today could save a loved one tomorrow. Call 844-REACH-NJ or visit reachnj.gov. Here in Atlantic County, we've seen some tough economic times, but we're tougher. I'm Colin Bell. My family's lived here for five generations. We're seeing things start to turn around. As your state senator, I'll make sure that they do. I've never voted for a tax increase. I fought for the toughest pay-to-play laws in the state. And you'll always know exactly where I stand. Jim Whalen always did right by Atlanta County. As your state senator, I will too. I'll keep us moving forward. What happens when an entire organization builds for the future? Dreams are achieved. Terrasol Energies helps organizations reduce energy costs and increase sustainability with innovative solar power systems. Integrating revolutionary components from SunPower's Helix system, this SunPower commercial dealer provides simply the best. Transform your business with the world's first fully integrated commercial solar solution. The Christie Playbook failed New Jersey. Now Kim Guadano wants another try. Billions less in state funds for public schools driving up property taxes, but billions more in tax breaks for giant corporations, always choosing the wrong side. I'm Phil Murphy. I've learned how to grow and create jobs, and I don't owe the insiders anything. We can build a stronger and fairer economy that works for every New Jersey family. We can't afford four more years of the same old playbook. Add value to your home by converting from electric to natural gas. Natural gas furnaces typically deliver warmer and more comfortable heat than electric heat pumps and last about six years longer. Natural gas, the cleanest, least expensive heating fuel, is also the most affordable and desirable option for heating, hot water, cooking, fireplaces, and clothes drying. Outdoor living is more fun with fire pits, grills, and pools. Select the smart option. Inquire today to see how easy it is to convert to natural gas. Ready to make the switch? Call or go online today. In 2013, the Mid-Atlantic.90 Association formed and held their first race as a Super Gas, Super Comp, and Super Street Racing Series at ATCO Dragway. Stay tuned for another South Jersey Speed trivia question later on in the episode. Now, back to the show. Porsche Club of America is back at the New Jersey Motorsports Park, but this time we have the Delaware region. And as always, you don't even need to have a Porsche to be here. But we were told that once you get involved with this group specifically, you'll probably end up wanting one. for numerous PCA regions. Tell me exactly what your day-to-day -day, uh, event is like. We typically have a combination of classroom times where students get some of the basic understanding of what it is to get around the track, where the car should be on the track, so it's, there's a decent amount of classroom time. And then actually everyone gets a whole lot of different sessions on the track. We break down the, uh, the days by skill level, so the beginner-beginners run 
their sessions together and then people that have probably five or six different driver schools under their belts, they get moved up to a more advanced run group and it moves on and up higher and higher. The instructors drive their own separate sessions as we get sort of our payment and reward uh, to run among ourselves. An awful lot of people own these cars and never ever learn what they're capable of. What you ultimately learn in these schools is that a typical subdivision, you know, residential area, the corners that are there, you can probably take those turns at around 70 miles an hour in a, in a Honda Accord. Mm -hmm. What's obviously reality is it's not safe to do that in the, in the local no. residential neighborhood. So once you realize the capability of the car is that high, it's, it's so incredibly high, then you've got to find a safe place to do it to get your enjoyment out of the car. So we, those of us that get involved in the hobby enjoy running the cars at the limit on the track and generally we drive pretty slow on the street. <laughs> it teaches you just driving skills in general, like regardless of track skills or not, like everything just that you can apply to the normal road. I know for this event you don't even have to have a Porsche. You can just get on the track with your vet, with your BMW, with whatever it is that you want to put on the on the track. Why why do you think they opened it up to all makes and models? We encourage you to bring whatever you have. Uh, and it and it can be a Honda Accord. It <laughs> doesn't even need to be a sports car. Um, what we find is the people that get exposed to it, ultimately they find that the cars that have the durability, that can be really run to their limits, lap after lap after lap, and then the person can drive the car home. You know, people realize that the Porsches tend to hold up better and have more durability. So it, even though we, you know, we don't in any way require you to own a Porsche and we don't care, uh, we don't care what you bring. Um, we tend to find that a lot of people that do the hobby, at least with our with our clubs, they tend to enjoy it, and so they ultimately end up getting involved with a Porsche, owning one down the road. You don't drive a Porsche. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Why the Porsche club? Like, what 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 makes this club? Uh, what are you attracted to? Um, a lot of my dad's friends come out to this one, and so we're just gonna come out and do the same thing then too. I guess it's always good to have people that you know around them too, and there's always in case you need a tool or in case you just need a little pointer about something, they'll always they'll always be helpful. It's a camaraderie event, so people get to know one another. They they start to end up working on each other's cars together, and so a lot of the mechanical side is a camaraderie friendship thing that that builds with it that you probably don't get in the professional driving schools. So I've come across many driving schools throughout my journey with this show. Uh, what separates the PCA driver's education from others? From others? So, so it's it's fully a non-profit. We're, we're all volunteers and it, it's an opportunity to get on the track at a really economic low budget. Uh, because we're all non-profit, what's, what's somewhat funny is that we're generally the same instructors that if you go to the brand name schools that do it for profit and you spend thousands of dollars for the weekend, we're generally the same guys that do it for a few hundred dollars. You do have to bring your own car though and so you have your own car exposed as opposed to renting a car for the track event. I, I give the instructors so much credit for being able to get into a car with someone who hasn't ever done on the track. Like that, that's scary to me that they like they're, that's impressive that they would do that. Porsche Club of America has a national program for training the instructors. Uh, so the the instructor core that you'll see, whether you're in Arizona or California or here, we're generally all taught with some of the same basic principles of okay. what we're trying to cover. That makes sense because yeah. you try and keep things as uniform as possible when you're branding, when you have a exactly. name. Exactly. So why do you love instructing for PCA? <laughs> it's the opportunity to get on the track. What, what we find is that you actually get more seat time, more hours a day of time on a racetrack than the typical racing driver gets. So if you want to go compete for SCCA or NASA, which are common access for mm -hmm. uh, sports cars on the track, um, they're really, they, they get a practice session or two, a qualifying session, and then a race, and that's it for the weekend. Whereas here, at any skill level, you're getting typically, it may not sound like a lot, but you're typically getting four to five 30-minute run groups per day. That's a lot. Um, and it is exhausting. Yeah. Uh, whether or not anyone can appreciate, but the entire time you're on the track, your pulse is beating 180 beats a minute, <laughs> and your adrenaline rush, the, you're sweating like crazy. It's a concentration level that's, that's intense. So for those that don't know, 30 minutes in a car doesn't sound like a lot. It's like a small trip, but 
when you're 30 minutes around a racetrack, going back and around and around and around at speeds up to what, like 120, 140? It at depends the on the car. So typically here we're seeing in the the higher performance cars, 150, 160. Wow. Um, you know, and it's which is the boring time, which people have a really <laughs> hard time appreciating that that it's actually the the thrill of it is always what you can carry through the corners, and oh, it's wow. the how late can I break and still have enough traction to carry it through the corner without obviously losing control of your car. So the, the thrill of getting out on the racetrack is really running to the absolute limit of traction of the car through the corners. And those corners, you know, it's corners here, some of them are 30 mile an hour corners, some of them are 80 mile an hour corners. Porsche builds a car for the racetrack, and if you do use it on the street, the durability is just so incredibly high. What makes a Porsche unique, aside from the handling capabilities and being able to take it from track to street? Simply, they, they do simply hold up well to this kind of use. They, they really, uh, Porsche has always been famous for having brakes that are superior to the brakes on the highest performance of BMWs and Corvettes and such, so they, so they have Certain of the main components that are important in a track car come that way as a, as the street okay. basic street car. Uh, so they're very they're very capable from that perspective. Um, they're just a, a pleasure to own and drive. They they really are uh, well assembled, well engineered, um, and those of us that have been into the hobby for a long time simply enjoy them. Driving on the racetrack is the one time where there is absolutely no other thought that can enter your mind. You, you are so narrowly focused on the intensity of running, running both your brain and the car to the limit um, that it, it, for me it's highly relaxing because all of those distractions of life, what's going on at work, what's going on with your kids, your family, it's all not there. All you can think about is running to the absolute limit of the capability of the car and yourself around the racetrack. How many regions does the Porsche Club of America have? The answer, after the break. The Christie Playbook failed New Jersey. Now Kim Guadano wants another try. Billions less in state funds for public schools, driving up property taxes, but billions more in tax breaks for giant corporations, always choosing the wrong side. I'm Phil Murphy. I've learned how to grow and create jobs, and I don't owe the insiders anything. We can build a stronger and fairer economy that works for every New Jersey family. We can't afford four more years of the same old playbook. Seabrook House has been helping families find the courage to recover from alcoholism, drug addiction, and other compulsive mental disorders for over 42 years. Our programs include the Family Matrix program that allows families to heal and begin to strengthen the family bonds strained by addiction, inpatient rehabilitation, extended care, and outpatient treatments. If you or a loved one is suffering from addiction, please call or visit us online today. Seabrook House, helping families find the courage to recover. New Jersey is facing an epidemic fueled by opioid painkillers. We want you to know that recovery from addiction is possible, but you need to know the signs. They can be hard to spot. Social withdrawal, financial problems, irritability. If you see these signs occurring together or suddenly, you may have cause for concern. The signs you spot today could save a loved one tomorrow. Call 844-REACH-NJ or visit reachnj.gov. Here in Atlantic County, we've seen some tough economic times, but we're tougher. I'm Colin Bell. My family's lived here for five generations. We're seeing things start to turn around. As your state senator, I'll make sure that they do. I've never voted for a tax increase. 
I fought for the toughest pay-to-play laws in the state. And you'll always know exactly where I stand. Jim Whalen always did right by Atlanta County. As your state senator, I will too. I'll keep us moving forward. From the boardwalk to our farmland, Atlanta County has a lot to offer. So we need a diverse economy that benefits everyone. And leadership that will make it happen. I'm John Armato. And I'm Vince Mazio. As your assemblyman, we're ready to cut red tape and make it easier on small businesses. And attract new businesses and jobs. And we'll work to curb the skyrocketing property taxes that affect us all. I'm Vince Mazio. And I'm John Armato, and that's our plan. Want a new way to connect to great healthcare? Call Inspira and talk to one friendly person, your healthcare concierge. Together, you'll find everyone and everything you need at Inspira, like specialists who take your insurance, procedures near you, appointments, and answers. And we won't leave you alone on hold. One call, one person, 1-800-INSPIRA. Isn't that wonderful? The Christie Playbook failed New Jersey. Now Kim Guadano wants another try. Billions less in state funds for public schools, driving up property taxes, but billions more in tax breaks for giant corporations, always choosing the wrong side. I'm Phil Murphy. I've learned how to grow and create jobs, and I don't owe the insiders anything. We can build a stronger and fairer economy that works for every New Jersey family. We can't afford four more years of the same old playbook. There are 144 regions separated into 14 zones. Most regions have their own websites for more information. Now here's what's coming up at our South Jersey Speed Racetracks. ATCO is wrapping up the Jackpot Pocket Change Series with the Pocket Change Jackpot this weekend. October 6th, 7th, and 8th there will be a Door Slammers Race, Super Pro Gamblers Race, Pro Street Gamblers Race, a Bike Gamblers Race, and 1 8th Mile Racing. Anyone can race the 1 8th Mile Races except bikes and has the chance to win $7,500. Entry fees range from $75 to $155. Call ATCO's office or check their website for more information. On Saturday, October 14th, we have the second annual Cross Racing Shootout at Atco Driveway. The junior dragsters will be racing for two grand. There will also be a junior street race, which is new this year. The entry fee is just $75, which includes a parent. Spectators are $15 for adults and gates open at 9 a.m. NJMP has a Weekend of Thunder coming up October 6th, 7th, and 8th featuring the Trans Am Series, the F2000 Championship Series, the F1600 Championship Series, Atlantic Championship Series, and Fidelity Power Systems Pro IT Series. The event kicks off Friday, qualifying races will be on Saturday, and races continue into Sunday. You can buy tickets online or at the gate. October 13th through 15th, the National Auto Sports Association October Fun Fest is hitting Thunderbolt Raceway at MJMP. This includes their high-performance driving event, sprint races, and time trials. This event will be the last chance for regional points for the time trials and race classes, so make sure you sign up. If you're new to HPDE, you will be assigned an instructor. Head to nasachampionships.com for more information. 